Alright, this is a short little video. Hopefully, that'll help you um, with plotting a point, uh, an equation like y equals seven. Um, you know, it says right here, use the graphing tool to graph the line. Use the intercepts when drawing the line. If only one intercept exists, use it and another point to draw the line. So when we do this, um, you know, let's take a look and see what happens here. So I got y equals seven. So um, here's my intercept at y equals seven. And then when I drag that out, here would be another point on the line. So I would have a horizontal line passing through at y equals 7. We can check my answer real quickly. Okay, and see that, yeah, that works the way that I did that. Okay, remember that if you're having troubles with this, now this is a quiz, of course, so you wouldn't be able to do this, but you can go back to the homework style problem, and you, of course, could click on Help Me Solve, and it'll show you, um, you know, it says, okay, y equals b, where b is the constant. It's a horizontal line through the point 0, B. So in our case there, we had Y equals 7. So our ordered pair would have been 0, comma, 7. So that's how I went 0 on the X, 7 on the Y. Then it tells you, in other words, this graph this line would be parallel to the X axis because my line would be crossing horizontally across. Go ahead and click on that and check our answer. And, and that's this is just a help. Okay, this means that you can choose any value for x and the y coordinate of every point on the same graph. So, like for example, we went up, we we're at zero seven. I can choose any x as long as y is equal to seven. So I could choose one seven, two seven, three seven, four seven, five seven, six seven. Or I could go in the negatives. I could go negative 1, 7, negative 2, 7, and as long as I choose my intersect and a point on that line, I'll be okay. Okay, so my y intercept is in this case 7. Oh, oh sorry, it has to be an ordered pair. So 0, comma, 7, close. Oops, sorry about that. It says plot the y-intercept. So I take that point up. I plot it. Okay, nice work. So an, okay, so now graph where it has. So the graph has no x-intercept. Okay, so now I'll just go over in the negative since you saw me doing the positive also. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. It says, uh, find a point that is a solution of the equation in the f oh, first quadrant, excuse me. So first quadrant. Okay. Now I draw a line between those two points. And it goes through and keeps on talking to you. Okay. So, you know, if, if I wanted to try another one of these, try a similar exercise, just so you could see, when I use the tool, I would use my line tool. Because I have y equals negative 8, that means that my x will be 0, my y will be negative 8. I'll click on my intercept, then I will choose as long as my x value, as long as, long as my y value is negative 8, I can choose any x value on that line. So there will be my line of the equation y equals negative x. Alright, hopefully that will help you a little bit with this particular problem.